Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into a tiny yet mighty component that powers your gadgets and makes modern electronics possible, the capacitor. So, what exactly is a capacitor? A capacitor is a passive electronic component that stores and releases electrical energy. It's made up of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material called the dielectric. Think of it as a tiny rechargeable battery, but instead of storing energy chemically, it stores it in an electric field. They come in various shapes and sizes, from these small ceramic discs to large cylindrical ones used in industrial applications. Now, let's see how a capacitor actually works. When a voltage is applied, one plate becomes positively charged, while the other becomes negatively charged. This creates an electric field in the dielectric. The capacitor continues charging until it matches the applied voltage. Once fully charged, it can release this energy back into the circuit as needed. Here's an example. Imagine a circuit where the power source suddenly turns off. A capacitor can release its stored energy to keep the circuit running momentarily. Pretty cool, right? But why do we need capacitors? Well, they have a range of applications in electronics. Let's explore some of the major uses. First, capacitors are used for energy storage. They help stabilize power supply by smoothing out voltage fluctuations. For example, in your phone charger, capacitors ensure a steady flow of power. Next, they're used for filtering. In audio circuits, they remove unwanted noise. In power supplies, they filter RAC ripples to provide clean DC power. Capacitors also play a crucial role in starting motors. If you've ever wondered how your ceiling fan gets moving, thank a capacitor for providing the initial push it needs. Another fascinating use is in tuning circuits. In radios and TVS, capacitors help select specific frequencies, enabling you to tune into your favorite station. Now, let's touch on an important property of capacitors, their capacitance. This is measured in farads and determines how much charge a capacitor can store. Small capacitors are measured in microfarads or even picofarads. The larger the capacitance, the more energy it can store. Capacitors also differ based on their dielectric materials. Ceramic capacitors are common for general use, electrolytic capacitors store larger charges, and supercapacitors are used for high-energy applications like regenerative braking in electric cars. So, why should you care about capacitors? Whether you're a budding engineer, a tech enthusiast, or just curious about how your gadgets work, understanding capacitors gives you insight into the building blocks of technology. From storing energy to tuning frequencies, these tiny components are essential to modern electronics. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more tech insights. See you in the next video.